Picture this. It's 1917, and the last Tsar of Russia, Nicholas II, abdicates his throne, paving the way for a seismic shift in global power dynamics. The turn of the century was a turbulent time for Russia. Living under the oppressive reign of Tsar Nicholas II, the Russian populace was ripe for change. The Tsar's iron grip on power and his indifference towards the suffering of his people had sown the seeds of discontent across the nation. The people were hungry, not just for food, but for freedom, equality, and justice, ideals that were far removed from the reality of their daily lives. As if the domestic strife wasn't enough, the world was in the throes of the Great War. Russia, entangled in the conflict, was bearing the brunt of the losses. The enormous casualties and economic strain were pushing the Russian people to the brink, further fueling their resentment towards the Tsar. Meanwhile, a new political ideology was gaining traction. The Bolsheviks, led by the charismatic and shrewd Vladimir Lenin, were growing in influence. They promised the people what the Tsar could not, peace, land, and bread. Their message resonated with the suffering masses and their ranks swelled with supporters. The year 1917 marked a turning point. The February Revolution, sparked by a series of protests in Petrograd, led to the abdication of Tsar Nicholas II. The Russian Empire crumbled, and in its place the provisional government was established. But this was just the calm before the storm. The stage was still set for a more profound revolution, one that would shake the world to its core. The Bolsheviks seized this opportunity. In October, they led a coup against the provisional government. The October Revolution, as it came to be known, marked the dawn of a new era. The Bolsheviks now in power began to reshape Russia in line with their socialist ideals. And so, with the Tsar's abdication, the stage was set for the birth of a new world superpower, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, or the USSR. From the ashes of a fallen monarchy, the USSR was born marking the dawn of a new era in world history. In the throes of the early 20th century, Russia found itself in the midst of a profound transformation. The Bolsheviks, led by the indomitable Vladimir Lenin, seized power in the aftermath of the October Revolution. The monarchy collapsed and in its place, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics was established, a federation of republics spread across Eurasia. Lenin's vision for the USSR was radical and revolutionary. He sought to create a socialist state, where the means of production were in the hands of the workers. This vision was not without its challenges. The country was reeling from the effects of World War I and the ensuing civil war. Resources were scarce and the economy was in shambles. Yet Lenin and the Bolsheviks were not deterred. They implemented the first of what would be many five-year plans. A series of nationwide centralized economic plans aimed at rapid industrialization and collectivization. By setting ambitious targets for production, Lenin hoped to propel the USSR into the ranks of the world's leading industrial powers. The impact of this first five-year plan was profound. Factories sprang up across the country, the workforce grew exponentially, and production rates soared. The USSR was now a major player on the global stage, boasting an industrial sector that could rival those of its Western counterparts. But the road to becoming a superpower was not without its toll. The rapid industrialization led to widespread hardship and suffering. The collectivization of agriculture resulted in the displacement and death of millions of peasants. Yet these sacrifices were seen as necessary steps on the path to achieving the socialist ideal. Despite the hardships and turmoil, the USSR was rapidly transforming into a global superpower. A nation born out of revolution and upheaval, the USSR stood as a testament to the power of a collective vision. It was a force to be reckoned with, a beacon of socialism in a world dominated by capitalism. When we talk about World War II, we often forget the USSR's crucial role in defeating the Nazis. As the specter of war loomed over Europe in the late 30s, the USSR found itself drawn into the fray. The invasion by Nazi Germany known as Operation Barbarossa was a brutal and unprovoked assault that caught the country off guard. Yet the Soviet people rose to the challenge, displaying a resilience that would become emblematic of their spirit during these trying times. The war was a crucible for the Soviet Union. The casualty figures were staggering, with estimates suggesting that over 20 million Soviet citizens lost their lives. This represents more than a quarter of all casualties in World War II, a sobering testament to the scale of the conflict that unfolded on the Eastern Front. 
The USSR's resistance to the Nazis was heroic and dogged. Ordinary men and women, soldiers and civilians, everyone played their part in the struggle. They defended their homeland with a fervor and determination that astonished the world, turning the tide of the war in their favor. The Battle of Stalingrad, often considered the turning point of World War II, was a prime example of this indomitable spirit. The city was under siege for five grueling months with the Red Army and the citizens of Stalingrad putting up a formidable defense. Despite being outnumbered and outgunned, they held their ground, refusing to let the city fall. Their victory marked a significant shift in momentum, signaling the beginning of the end for the Third Reich. The cost of the Great Patriotic War, as it's known in Russia, was immense. Cities lay in ruins and the landscape was scarred by the horrors of war. Yet through this crucible of conflict, the Soviet Union emerged stronger, its resolve hardened and its place on the world stage cemented. The USSR emerged from the war battered but unbroken, its global standing forever changed. As the world rebuilt post-World War II, a new kind of war was brewing, one fought in the shadows and the stars. This was the Cold War, a bitter ideological battle between the two new superpowers, the United States and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics or the USSR. In the aftermath of the Second World War, the world had fallen into two distinct ideological camps. The West, led by the United States, championed capitalism and democracy. The East, led by the USSR, stood for socialism and communism. These divergent ideologies created a deep rift that would define global politics for nearly half a century. The Cold War was not just a war of ideologies, however. It was also a race for technological supremacy, a race that reached for the stars. The space race, as it came to be known, was a fierce competition between the United States and the USSR for dominance in space exploration. The USSR had a few notable victories in this celestial contest. On October 4, 1957, they launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, into orbit. This was a massive achievement, marking the birth of the space age. But the Soviet Union was not done yet. On April 12, 1961, they achieved another monumental feat. Yuri Gagarin, a Soviet cosmonaut, became the first human to journey into outer space, orbiting the Earth in the Vostok spacecraft. This achievement sent shockwaves around the world, proving that the USSR was a force to be reckoned with in the technological arena. In the midst of global tension, the USSR was pushing the boundaries of human achievement. They were not just competing for ideological dominance, but for the future of mankind itself. This was an era of unprecedented tension, but also of unprecedented progress. And the Soviet Union was at the forefront, blazing a trail into the unknown. In the midst of global tension, the USSR was pushing the boundaries of human achievement. The 1980s marked the beginning of the end for the USSR. It was a time of change and uncertainty where the once formidable giant began to teeter on the brink of collapse. The Soviet Union, a superpower that had held sway over a vast expanse of land and diverse peoples, was showing signs of strain. The USSR was grappling with economic stagnation. It was a system strained by the weight of its military expenditure, the inefficiencies of a centrally planned economy, and the burden of supporting its satellite states. Moreover, the oil glut of the 1980s led to a sharp drop in the prices of oil, a crucial export for the Soviet economy. This economic downturn left the USSR in a precarious situation with an urgent need for reform. Political unrest was another catalyst for the colossal downfall. Dissent had been brewing in the satellite states and within the USSR itself. The suppression of basic freedoms, coupled with economic hardships, led to an increasingly disgruntled population. Nationalist movements began to gain momentum, demanding greater autonomy and, in some cases, outright independence. Enter Mikhail Gorbachev, the man who would inadvertently hasten the fall of the Soviet Union. He introduced two groundbreaking policies, glasnost or openness, which allowed greater freedom of speech and transparency in government, and perestroika or restructuring, which aimed at overhauling the Soviet economy. These policies, though well-intentioned, unleashed forces that Gorbachev could not control. The increased transparency exposed the deep-seated corruption and inefficiencies of the Soviet system, while the economic restructuring led to further hardships before any benefits could be realized. As the decade wore on, the USSR was beset by a series of political crises. 
One by one, the republics began to declare their independence, weakening the once monolithic Soviet Union. Despite desperate attempts to hold the Union together, the tide of change was too strong. On December 26, 1991, the USSR was officially dissolved, marking the end of an era. The once mighty superpower had crumbled, leaving in its wake a vastly different geopolitical landscape. The USSR's legacy is complex and far-reaching, influencing the world we live in today. Born out of a revolutionary spark, it swiftly rose to become a superpower on the global stage. Its trials during the Great Patriotic War showcased the indomitable spirit of its people while its role in the Cold War and the space race echoed its ambition to pioneer and lead. However, even giants may stumble and the USSR was no exception. Its fall served as a vivid reminder of the impermanence of even the mightiest of powers. Yet, its legacy lives on, casting a long shadow across the globe. The USSR's history is a testament to the human capacity for resilience and ambition, a dramatic saga played out on the world stage. As we reflect on the history of the USSR, we are reminded of the power of human resilience, ambition, and the relentless march of time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing history videos like this one.